epic, man. I Evolve TV. I'm going on to the conversation. What's up? What's up, Yak? What's the deal? What's up? Yo, man, so I'm I'm listening to the conversation, and and it's fucking hilarious, bro, because I know this is how, like, 95% of battle rappers be, like, thinking, like, just scheming shit, like, yo, Epic is doing this, and Epic is doing that, like, can can everybody just, like, take a breath one time, you know what I'm saying, for the West Coast, like, I, I book doing that, and I know, like, first of all, I didn't know all the history behind everything that's happened with Cat. Before I booked Cat, you know what I'm saying? I knew a few things, but I didn't know everything. And so, yeah, let's get that out the way, you know what I'm saying? I, I just I just personally wanted to give Dude a chance to, like, address everything. Because, obviously, like, the majority of the battle rap community has, like, a problem with Dude. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know Cat. He's not, like, a homie of mine. I'm not, like entertaining dude i'm just seeing it as like a human as a human being bro like no nah, i right. just fucking up no nah, look epic you i know you i know what i he he been a part of he was niggas from the beams was fucking with him and everything like bro just ain't he ain't showed up to no battles bro period he showed up to two uh, battles hey, epic. if that two battles probably two battles i think and they showed up to seven, bro, after that and got booked everywhere. That's all I was just telling you on my behalf. You know, I already told you what I told you. Bro, just, he ain't just showed up to nothing. Nigga, he, the baby need to stop fucking with that nigga. Hey, yo. Like, hey, Epic. Hey, Epic. Yeah. Hey, Epic. This is, yeah. this is Capital Dime, man. What's up, my G? Look, uh, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. I have the same problem with this certain battle rapper down here. These niggas keep on booking this nigga, right? And he no shows every fucking battle. All right. right. This year he's battle he's no show for battles. Okay. Right. Um these type of niggas right here that no shows like like this, man, you really have to be on you really as a league owner for real, for real, you have to be right real in depth to what these niggas are doing out here. Because niggas really not going to waste their time They want to see this battle I bet you if, this, if he even shows up I don't even know Because on my last On this last event I just hosted This nigga is, is a no show Right The league right. owner The league owner said I've already talked to him He's going to be there Don't worry He, he, he you know he <laughs> no show these last three events But he's going to be there what happened? Okay. The nigga no show. The nigga no show. So you, hey, have you know to, what? You have to listen to. You have to listen to like the West Coast. The West Coast is really saying this nigga of is course. a no show seven seven times. My nigga, of course. Like you don't of want course, to battle rap if you no show seven times. All right, but I, you know, you know what? what I, mean? I, I don't so, think like, I don't think it was seven times. It's no though. shot to you. Oh, it's I mean, just like hey, you I'm have to be really in. If it wasn't seven, bro, you have to really know. If it wasn't seven, epic. It was at least six, bro. <laughs> I know. Okay, I know okay. all personally. I know him all. Okay. Ca- all the hey, cars listen. personally. He was on three. Hey, he was listen. on three casual conflict cars. He was on an LBG hey, let card. Me say something. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me yeah. give y'all some TBZ history, bro. I'm gonna give y'all some real TBZ history, bro. Before this nigga ever wanted to be a battle rapper, the nigga was a fan, right? The nigga was watching battle rap, right? Then the right. nigga. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with the boy head, right? The boy really thought that he was like a king of the dot staff member, right? The nigga got it. To, he, he told himself that he booking battles. The nigga inboxed me and told me, bro, like nigga, I booked you versus Clutch on King of the Dot, the bunker. CBZ has nothing to do with King of the Dot, the bunker, bro. He <laughs> told me he booked Yo, me. Hey, this was this was this was like this over a year ago. He told me he booked me, bro. I told this nigga you're a fucking idiot. This nigga told me he's the reason that Clutch is on King of the Dot. He said Gully TK is hey, he got yeah. Gully TK ear. He, listen, listen, my nigga. This is before he yeah. ever became a battle rapper, bro. The nigga thought he was staff, making making moves, making up lies, my nigga. Next thing you know, this nigga's on a card, on all these cards, not showing up to nothing. Like the nigga's delusional. 
something is really wrong with his head. <laughs> and for you niggas keep right. enabling this nigga, it just it just looks bad on the fucking coast, bro. Stop enabling okay. this nigga. He's not gonna fucking show up and rap. He's not a rapper. Okay. Hey, He's and a you know what? Owner slash and you rapper. Right. <laughs> that nigga's retarded. You're right. You right, my G. But let me say this, dog. Let me say this. Let me make a few points. This is the last battle on the flyer, dog. The lowest battle on the card. And this is the Bro, battle getting talked him. about right now. This is the battle getting talked him. about right now. No, I'm not paying, dude. But I'm saying, like, look, like th- there are certain things that, you know, a fan or a battle rapper or whatever, dog, that they don't know that a promoter would know. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody who books events, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody who, who consistently books events and knows how to connect the dots in certain places and knows how to bring people out. It's like, it's a different science, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not it's not no rocket science, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, there's just certain things that you learn along the way. This this is the lowest battle on the card. I just dropped the shit tonight, and, and there's many conversations going on about this fucking battle, which is the lowest battle on the card, so... Regardless of like, okay. No, it's not. It's not it's, necessarily about the battle. It's about so it's the a promo tactic. Not, not so no a show. Yeah, so, definitely. Not. And you so, know what? So, so, so what you're saying is this is a no promo show? tactic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time. A hey, one at a time. One at a time. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You're it's, using it's, it's definitely a promo tactic, but it's also like me knowing, go, like me knowing that. Hold on, let it go. Let it go. Like I'm, I'm a fan, bro. I'm a I'm a person before I'm a battle rapper, before I'm a promoter. Like, I know that fool, like, this fool may be, may be delusional, maybe. But, like, look how many battle rappers are. All battle rappers are fucking delusional, bro. Everybody, there's there's they, something. They I guarantee show up the battles. They show up the battles. I, I guarantee you that there is something wrong in the head of every battle rapper for a battle rapper to be battle rapping, bro. Everybody's fucked up in the head, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, but they... They showed the battle. I, I know. Though. I know. Like, they showed the battle. Hold on. Hold on. Let him go. Hold on. Let him go. Let him go. People make mistakes. People make mistakes, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I'm not Seven. condoning this dude's behavior, nor saying that. You know, saying he was right. This fool is probably wrong as shit. But I'm not gonna just. You know, saying like, be swayed just because he had an issue with everybody else. He he never had an issue with me, bro. He never backed out on me. You know what I'm saying? When I booked him for a battle, he was there. When I spoke to him, that's I the told same him, hey, thing R and B said. Hey, listen, we were just on the radio last week. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I told him, I told him, I'm like, forget. dude, you gonna change the subject, and I'm gonna forget what nah, I'm about nah, to nah. say. No, 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 just, uh, just last thing, this last thing. I, I spoke to dude, and I told him, look, I'm getting so much shit about this battle. I don't even want to book it, bro. But just because I know that you need this, I'm gonna give it to you and give you an opportunity to address everything. And if if he doesn't show up. I will take that on the chin, bro. All right, listen. My nigga. All right. TBZ is a nigga that's not even talented. We don't even care about him. King Rico has got multiple chances. And this nigga is fire. King Rico is fire. King Rico supposed to have been that Compton nigga before Geechee got. You know what I'm saying? He got multiple fucking chances. And he's actually good. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, just two weeks ago, we was on here. I told r and I said, bro, I got King Rico losing because he's not going to show up. I know this nigga good as fuck, but I have no faith in the nigga because I know he fucking ducked like six cards in a row, just like TBZ. What did R&B go on here and say, um, Nico, on the radio? He never booked one of my cards. He never ducked one of my cards. If I, if I yeah. show up, and what happened? The nigga didn't show up. Like, bro, we can't yeah, do that. that. I'm, I'm going history, bro. If I see a nigga duck five, six cars in a row, I have no faith in that nigga. I don't give a fuck how long I've been knowing you That's as a league fact. owner. I don't give a fuck if you my but brother see, and you tell fact. me I know he's coming. I don't give a fuck. That nigga ain't coming. <laughs> now, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me say this. Let me, hold on. Let me, let me say this real quick. Now, as far as I'm concerned, in my and hold on, hold on. As far as I'm concerned, in my interactions, and I've been watching this West shit, nigga, since nigga it was West, nigga. So I've been watching this shit since it was first birth, nigga. All y'all leagues, all you battle rappers, Epic and R and B, got my utmost respect in the culture for being stand up, for doing work, 
and putting on in the culture. Now, I have a certain reservation about TBZ being on a card because, as I said before, I made a vlog going in on that situation, and I told everybody, if y'all with me, stop booking these niggas, and let's push a hard line on people who do this shit. And it's not even just people who don't show up physically. It's people who show up freestyling three rounds because they didn't want to prepare three rounds. It's people bitching about not getting paid. All that shit applies to me when I talk about no-showing. Now, I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt because, like I said, I got respect for bro. You know what I'm saying? I done been out to an I Evolve event before. I was just out there, I think it was a month ago, maybe two months ago. I came out there. It was all love. I I appreciate what bro's done. Now, what I will say and what Yak was just speaking on where R&B said was never been on my card, what I don't want, and this is something that I want to dead in 2018, is leagues not cooperating. If a battle rapper isn't showing up on Shots Fired, LA Battlegrounds, I Evolve, West Coast Elites, The Riot, casual conflict shouldn't be booking that dude. If it's casual conflicts and four other leagues, shots fired shouldn't be booking him. We need to have more cooperation and a standard for the Western Conference where we're not going to allow a battle rapper to be over our leagues. Now, I understand that there's shit behind the scenes. Niggas don't get along. Niggas don't like each other. Niggas don't give a fuck about each other's leagues. I get it. But at the same time, just as a region, we got to push a hard line where it's like, look, the region comes first. The West comes first before any of this shit. And if it's going to make the West look bad in any way, we deaden that shit. So I would like to see more league cooperation, not even just putting cards together, but just making it where, okay, who are the no-show niggas? Who are the niggas who don't prepare? Who are the niggas that don't perform? We need, You know what I'm saying? We need to have a Nico. list of these niggas, an entire, Nico, like, hey graph of these niggas and what they do so when you book them you know this is what you're booking you understand what i'm saying we need to have that because it'll help in the future going forward go ahead king yeah uh, i was gonna say if my if my phone cuts off for any reason it's just because like i don't know how like how many like like calling calling your service like it only gives me a certain amount of minutes for some reason i don't know i gotta fix my plan but for any reason i get out that's that's the reason you know what i'm saying but um, as far as what you're talking about, I, you know what? I, I, you've been talking about it for a minute, bro, and I agree to a certain extent. But then there's also another side of that that could make it like, like what's the word, like tyrannical, you know what I'm saying? Like make it like in, in this day and age, bro, everybody is so quick to vilify somebody or to blacklist somebody, you know what I'm saying? And I understand that. That should be done within certain circumstances, like the TV situation and shit like that. I understand, but it's like with that mentality, bro. It's not a safe mentality. Like may, maybe it is to to your like say for instance your closer circle, Nico. Like the people that like straight up support you 100 percent and you support them 100 percent. Like your close inner circle, that would be a safe mentality for you guys because you guys are building within your circle, but. To, to, like, somebody who, like, like myself, like, I fuck with you, Nico, but I consider myself kind of, like, out of the loop sometimes, out of the circle, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, we support each other, but, like, I, I wouldn't say that I feel as close to that circle that, that then you would be with maybe the right or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So that mentality would be, like, okay, th- where that mentality goes is, like, if I, if for some, if I fuck up with somebody or, like, somebody who's out, outside of that immediate circle fucks up with somebody in that circle, that person will automatically blacklist it because of that mentality, bro. You know what I'm saying? Which leads to bigger shit. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, I understand. I, no, no, no. I, no, I, no, no, I agree with you on the, on the premise of say somebody like, say if somebody had some bad dealings with you and you were like, nah, man, we ain't having that. The, the, this shit's foul, and everybody blacklisted that person, but it was only one bad deal. Because, I get it. What I'm talking because about... Of that, yeah, because it, of that mentality, you know? Yeah, no, no, no. What, what I'm getting at is more so, is more so, or I'm just specifically talking about no-shows and people who no-show via not create, not bringing three rounds of full material. I think there's a certain level of integrity that when you get booked for a card, you're supposed to give 100% of your effort. Now, choking, stumbling, all that shit, if it happens, it happens. Sometimes that shit is out of people's control no matter how much they prepare. 
sometimes that shit can get the best of them. I've seen the very best battle rappers in the world have that shit happen to them when they felt like they were A1 with their shit, right? It happened. Right. But we can tell those who fucked off all their time, showed up to an event, and freestyled three rounds because they didn't give a fuck about the battle or the card, those who right. didn't even take the time to even show up to something that they told another man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to show up to this, and I'm ready for this. I'm talking about those people. I'm not talking about if somebody had bad business dealings or if somebody just didn't like another person. I'm talking about specifically based on their work. If you know show in one of those two capacities and you have five different leagues where you've done that on, I believe at a certain time the decision has to be made between all the leagues that are we going to continue to book this person? Are we going to continue to keep giving this person chances? Because at a certain point, it makes your league look a little shaky. It's like how we're looking at it right now with TBZ. Say if there's a battle rapper next year who pulls the same TBZ type stunt but is a little bit better than TBZ and he's a little more known, that's going to be a bad look on the West that we're just going to keep booking this person, especially now when we have more eyes on the West region than we've ever had in in years past. People are actually looking out here to see who's the next talent. So we have to push a hard line, in my opinion, to make sure that we're protecting the integrity Yo. of our leagues in the West. Yo, I, right? Listen, I agree Yo. with you. We shouldn't Yo. just blacklist anybody just because they don't like them or just because of something like that. I'm speaking mainly on work. Like, if your work says, I know show, and I don't give a fuck about battle, so I freestyle all the time, I think that you qualify. Now, if it's on some other shit, I, I won't even entertain it because then that's something personal. I won't even entertain that. But if it's on your work being shaky in the streets, I definitely feel like a conversation needs to be had about you just not being booked or of course, maybe 100%. you being booked or maybe you being booked for CDFs, next level type battles, battles that really have a chance of not even making it onto the a channel unless you show out. That way there's no, it's low risk. Okay, I'm going to set you up for this battle. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, okay. It, it probably wasn't going on the channel no way. Something like that. That would be boy. Yo, I would I yo, 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 real quick. Like, man, this, this put that nigga over, by the way. Com, bro. Yo, look, man. Too. Like, this is the one thing that we not really saying, and it's the lack of respect, homie. Like, the lack of respect just for another man. You, you tell another man that I'm going to be there, and you just don't show up, nigga, six times? And then we're not even talking about the opponents. They got to come up with all this material. Right. Show up to the event. Bro, I've been, and I've then been ain't ducked, no like, battle? I've been ducked like five times, so I, I understand that shit. I've been ducked like five times, nigga. That shit is, a, is not See, that's a what thing. I want to hear you right there. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, now, how does that feel? Rounds, like, nigga, and know you for the cook? You feel like you just know you for the cook, bro? And you don't get a chance to do that shit? That's a fucked up feeling, nigga. Nigga like me, Hell bro, yeah. I spend money on my outfits and shit. I spend money on looking good at the fucking battle. I just waste all my fucking money, bro. Hey, yeah, and, and exactly, there is no, there is no excuse, and that's why I totally, one hundred percent agree with Nico. But at the same time, dog, like I, like I said, man, I'm not gonna judge my dude's sins. You know what I'm saying? As far, as far as with me, and I know, I know you don't like me coming to this, man. But when I booked dude, he came through. You know what I'm saying? He has yet to do that shit to me. And I'm not gonna judge dude by his other sins, you know what I'm saying? Me, me and him and Trey have come to a decision. You know and saying Trey is a newcomer and I I never I never told dude nothing about, you know, like if he didn't battle then the battle wasn't gonna happen. It was never on some shit like that. It was like, yo, he doesn't really want a battle cat, but you know what, he he's looking for a way in and T B T B Z needs to come in and address this shit to really get it because it fucked up his whole aspirations of whatever he wanted to do in battle rap. So as just a person, man, sometimes we gotta step out, step outside of that ego shit, man, and, and tripping on shit. Cause I know, I know too, dog. I've been battle rapping since 2009, fool. You know what I'm saying? So I've been backed on, I've been backed out on my fair share of time. So I know exactly what you guys are saying when it comes to that. Cause I'm a, I'm a fucking person. I'm a battle rapper first. So I know what's up. You know, have been there, have been fucked over, and all that shit in this business. You know, so. I, I like I, said, you know, I know, dog, because I was never one of the popular cats. You know, I had to fucking, I had to learn the ropes from from scratch. You know, so I know exactly w- what I'm risking when it comes to booking shit like that. But sometimes, 
Like, y'all have to let promoters be, dog. Y'all have to let us do our job. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. I feel it. I listen, like I said, I'm, I, I've already given y'all my benefit of the doubt. It wouldn't have been an because issue. of who y'all are. So, so I'm not even going. Like, I'm like, not going to trip on it until them. until until it happens. Until until we get to the day of the event and then we see what the outcome is. I really can't say anything else because I don't do, I don't agree with him being on the card, just on an integrity and respect level. But at the same time, I respect you and R and B enough. To give y'all y'all fair shake of okay y'all booked this I've seen y'all work I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and work that would be where I where I leave it at you know what I'm saying yeah exactly I think uh, I think you know if uh, dude comes through like like I low key know he is so like you know when I spoke to him he felt authentic you know what I'm saying and, and I really broke it down to dude like yo I'm getting a lot of shit over this battle you know what I'm saying and like you know I really don't want to make it happen but you know what like I'm, I'm give you the chance just because I already told you, you know? So I feel like if he comes through on his word, that could make for a dope battle. And, you know what I'm saying, it'll, it'll show you, like, what battle rap has the authority to do. Like, you might fuck up. You might, you know, slip up a couple of times, make some bad decisions in life. But you know what? You, you come through in this battle rap shit with your, with your balls and your words and, and your pride and your respect, and you just fucking win people over it all. If he could do that, hey, man. I got respect for dude regardless of his of his sins or whatever the fuck he did. You know what I'm saying? That's real real I shit, you know. Niggas let him rap. If he do show up, let the nigga rap before y'all put hands on him cuz I know it's a lot of niggas out here that want to touch. <laughs> Man, let the rap first. Hey, who? If hey, he somebody was asleep or breathing in the phone a little bit. What's what's, what's going on with us, me? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. As far as you got to be breathing in the phone, I'm just trying to make sure ain't nobody done pulled a maneuver. You know what I'm saying? People need to learn how to put the phone on mute when they're not talking. I'm just, I'll, I'll, listen, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. The wolves is out right now. I don't care how late it is at night. The niggas is out. You will be on a mean nigga first thing in the morning, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> real shit. But not a a epic though, real shit though, bro. Because I bet you made the comment like about like the inner circle and all that. That's one of the reasons why, bro. I went out a lot. I went out of my way to make sure I came out to your event because, like, for me personally, just with this West shit. Like, if y'all noticed this year, I haven't done anything outside of West. I haven't ventured out to nothing. Like even with Capo and Capo is my bro. I haven't ventured out to even talk about. Midwest stuff unless he's on here and they want to talk about it. I keep it all West for a purpose because I want to give the West coverage. So that's why I even came out to your event because I was just like, nah, like I got to get out to an IE Law event because homie been putting in work for years and it's, it's, it's on me to make sure I'm over here to showing that I rock with it and that, you know what I'm saying, I value that just as much as I value a traffic card, a magnitude, you know what I'm saying, a sink or swim, whatever the card is. I value it the same hey. way. So that's why, I, you know what I'm saying, I came out to make sure I showed you, like, bro, it's all I live. Like, I really fuck with what you got going on over there in Ontario for real. Hey, hey man, and I appreciate that, man, because I know, like, sometimes motherfuckers be, like, saying shit like, oh, you know, uh, like, you know, if it's not this or that, it don't matter. You know, I, I respect that, but people got to understand, man, that the smaller leagues are, are are doing shit that the bigger leagues cannot do. You know, say they see shit. They see things, that talent, and, and, and do things that that uh, these bigger leagues cannot do. You know what I'm saying? We're literally building pe- like battlers for the future and grooming them, and you know what I'm saying? Get like full like Dick Shane to be the next Big K. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, we're, like we're getting these motherfuckers ready, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like building motherfuckers from ground up, like finding new talent and like getting these cats ready. Like nobody. Even knew like they battled nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like some scratch type shit, dog. So it's like you know we we you know we we weren't on that level, but we you know we did something amazing, man. We have so much like talent that that has come out of I Evolve, you know what I'm saying? Like regardless of of what people say about it, you know. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. No, that's definitely a fact. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, plugging in while we on the segment, real quick. I Evolve dropped the Dick Shandy verse King Malcolm. You know what I'm saying? Check that battle out, oh, one round battle. Dope yeah, back and people, forth. People are sleeping on that battle, bro. You, you could see these dudes level up on cam, man. Like, 
dudes fucking went crazy, man. It was one of the craziest one round battles, like, like legitly officially. You know what I'm saying? She was a fire. So they was, they were two hey, of the only I people like that. that I actually interviewed that night, man, because they were actually two. Like There's the like thing. maybe four people total I actually though. interviewed that actually did their work. I like they clutch. Yeah, versus yeah, raw hell yeah, man. Fire. What was that? I like they clutch versus raw. I think raw dope. Oh yeah, bro. That's is that? That's hold on, is name, raw raw hood? That, that's not raw T, is it? Nah, nah, that's not raw nah. T. Raw is like uh, that's the white boy raw. That nigga hard. Oh, okay, he's the other one. Okay, I want to make want to make sure I knew which one it was first. For I said so. Yeah, yeah, nah, he cool. He, he cool. I, I like that matchup. Yeah, man. For those for those who don't know, if it's cool if I plug it in, Nico. Uh, oh yeah, my Saturday, uh, Saturday, January twentieth, we throw in um, the last. Uh, technically, it's the last uh, I Evolve rap battle event. It's gonna be called Metapod, and we decided to uh, to make it an A Hat Cali event. You know, what I'm saying all the dopest battles on that card is gonna go on the A Hat main page. You know, what I'm saying so if if these cats really come through and cook, you know, what I'm saying a lot of cats who haven't even been on the platform. But have been bubbling up for the past, you know, what I'm saying year, like or, or so, you know, get a chance to be on the main page and are going to be, you know, what I'm saying man, uh, I'm be there. incorporated to the, uh, you know, what I'm saying to the scene, man, incorporated to the bigger uh, platform, bigger stage, you know. So it, it's really dope, man. It's really dope to see all these cats, you know, excel. I'm just mad at that date, man. I like yeah, the hey. This shit, <laughs> yeah, Epic, you remember when, uh, because me and you had talked behind the scenes about something, you know what I'm saying, in regards to that. And I remember when I heard the date, I was like, damn, like, man, that's, yeah, you're going to be, you're you gonna know, be so I already had a previous obligation for that day. You know what I'm saying? And Fresno already had an obligation. They'd asked me to yeah, come yeah, out. I'm already known. You know what I'm saying? For the, the event. So, but yeah, no, I definitely, you know what I'm saying, support the car. I'm definitely going to be doing, you know what I'm saying, predictions for the card. I'm going to make sure we get a couple shows, a few shows to get. Good predictions on that. You know what I'm saying? Get the battlers who are on that card if they want to come on here and do some interviews or whatnot and talk they shit, do face offs. You know what I'm saying? The radio show is already yeah. anybody trying to do that. Hell yeah, Nico. Hey, I appreciate that, man. And, and keep it all the way real, man. Like, if there's one thing I could say about this card, man, is this is this has been the most difficult card I've ever put together. Like, over the past three years of doing events, man. It's been the most difficult card to put together due to, like, how far we've come in battle rap. You know, people's, like, people's egos, people's, like, sense of, like, oh, I'm this now. And, like, no, I got a battle here. I got, you know, people working around people's schedules. Like, it's been very difficult, man. So, it's insane that I feel like these battles that are on this card, like, there's no other way that I could have put this card together, like, if I take one battle off of the card, one, like one battler off of the card, there's no way I could replace him with somebody else. Like these battles, like that, that are on this card, is just like that's I, that's what I think that they were supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like it, there's nobody else to hit up, dog. Like I probably hit up all of the West Coast pretty much trying to book this card, you know. And it, and the result was like madness. Like the madness of this card is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's insane, dog. Like I I really can't wait. I, I'm hyped. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Now, January starting off with a bang, man. That's definitely going to be a dope, you know what I'm saying, dope card and everything. Uh, shout out to everybody who's on there. I know Brad, I know he said he's going to be in the building. You know what I'm saying, for that. Yeah, hell yeah. Pretty sure that's hell yeah, man. A, that's that's going to be a dope look, man. Shout out to R&B as well, man, for being a part of that as well. Oh, yeah, yes, Cal, sorry, man. Not. Hell yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad you called up, bro, so we can have some clarity back because, you know what I'm saying, when niggas brought it up, I was like, ah, man, we going to talk about this. I was damn near about to avoid it. I was like, I don't even feel like talking about bro on the show. But <laughs> Oh, man. I already knew. I already knew when I put the fly. I was, I was like, like, shit, like, T. Beasy then took a few L's on this radio show, bro. Just look at the young <laughs> pop shit. <laughs> he took a few I L's on here, but <laughs> I know, man. That's why, like. I knew I had it tuned in because I knew it was going to be brought up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully glad we, it all works out. Good. No, yeah, I, I know it will, man. I got a feeling it will, man. 